Assalamualaikum Dr. Zaitun and all my fellow friends. We are from Group 11 Blitz and our topic is creating family-friendly culture. But first, allow me to introduce my group members and myself. So we have Nur Shamsina, Putri Nur Janna Audadi, Shilrin, Sofia Adli Zulaika, and myself Nur Anzilawati. Before getting into the core, the first family-friendly workplace has increasingly been the top preference among employees with families, especially during the pandemic. By the year 2025, 75% of world's workforce population will be represented, will be filled by millennials that has their own preference and perspectives of work-life balance. It is true that companies that invest in family-friendly culture will be more likely and easier to attract employees and their retainment. This intervention will also lead to productivity and profitability, enhance creativeness, allow openness, and also innovations to grow. Companies will also be able to propose better business decisions and uh, influence how the consumer view them and trust them. This culture will also benefit in lower absenteeism, typically caused by burnout because the employees taking care take more time off to care for their families. Moving into the next part, we will share with you a little bit of our background. So uh, our business name is Blitz Training Sendirian Berhad. We provide uh, training and programs mainly promoting work-life balance in companies. We have come out with a plan of two days event um, consisting various activities for both employees and also their families. This plan or this event will be helping the companies to better understand the concept and the importance of, fam of having family-friendly culture in their workplace and increase the retainment of employees. Hello, my name is Putri Nuruljana Audadi Binti Saiful Azrin, matrix number 73791, and I would like to talk about the objective of creating family-friendly culture. Employers and employee both benefit from having a family-friendly workplace. While employees can use strategies to succeed as working parents, an employer who cultivate a supportive work environment foster a more trusting and result-oriented workforce. The government recognizes the advantages of promoting work-life balance and family-friendly workplace which are to encourage company to improve their remote work policy and other employees' supportive initiative, and also able to demand better work arrangement from the employers. Employees who work in a family-friendly environment are supported and find it easier to balance family and work obligation. These companies produce their employees' personal needs and devise ways to better support them. Hi, I am Sophia Alizulaika, Mindy Badi here, and my matrix number is 76871. For program overview, is this program aims to foster a family-friendly culture among employees to achieve a work-life balance. It is primarily focused on creating a family-friendly work environment that benefits the employees. Through this program, employees will learn how to better understand how to acquire better support as well as how to consider their own needs. Next is the methodology. The program solutions are for employees to express their thoughts, difficulties, and practice guidelines from their organization, as well as to have an enjoyable day throughout the program. There will be an icebreaking session, group activities with employees from various departments, a variety of booths, and other activities. Besides that, a highly experienced speaker and entertainer will also be present. There are two benefits which are the organizational and employee benefits. The first one is organizational benefits. There are three benefits when companies send their employees to this program. First, encourage organizations in increasing gender diversity and demonstrating that women are valued in the workplace. Second, reducing absenteeism, lower recruitment expenses and enhance employee retention. Lastly, increasing the competitiveness of companies in terms of attracting, motivating and retaining employees. The second benefit is employee benefits. There are also three benefits that will apply to employees who participate in this program. 
first assist employees in integrating and managing work and family responsibilities at all phases of their lives. Second, employees get to spend more time with their children as parents and provide them with the stimulation and sustenance they require, which results in positive outcomes. Last but not least, allow working parents, especially mothers, to enhance their professions, which boost employee engagement and morale. That's all for me. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Nur Shamsina and I will present the learning activities for our program. The activities that will be held on day 1 is as follow. Activity 1, Ice Breaking Session. One of the simplest ways for companies to ensure their employees from stronger bone is to use office icebreaker games, which are short and simple activities designed to help people to get to know one another on a personal level. By the end of this session, you will notice that the employees will start to engage more with each other. This activity helps them to understand more about their colleague and that will result in healthy and friendly workplace environment. Activity 2. Family-friendly culture. What, why is it important? Workshop. Companies will benefit from family-friendly work culture as well. Respecting and supporting employees' freedom to spend time with their families, for example, is a powerful retention tool. However, it also has the potential to increase employee productivity and performance. By the end of this session, the employees will understand more on family-friendly culture and why is it so important to implement it in their workplace. Meanwhile, these are the activities that will be held on day 2. Activity 3, Bring Your Kids to Work Day. The goal of this activity is to give girls and boys an idea of what their mom and dad do at work so they can begin to consider career options for themselves. By the end of this session, your kids will finally understand the work you do for a living and make them think of what they want to become when they are older. Activity 4, Family Fun Day. An organizational family fun day is an event organized by a company for the families of its employees. Hiring entertainers, providing food, or organizing a scavenger hunt are all ways to commemorate the occasion. The goal of this suggestion is to strengthen team relationship and recognize hard work, as well as to involve the families in the organization too. By the end of this session, both the employees and their family will have a blast at this event which will contribute to more family-friendly workplace culture. Hi, my name is Jempa Dabudu, metric number 76762. I will present the budget and evaluation. For budget, we have four parts that have to be counted in these programs. First, the activity materials. We have program notes, pen, notebook, marker, lanyard, and papers. The total is 312 ringgit for activity materials. Next, which is the budget for the trainer is 2,500 ringgit for two days and the entertainer is 1,000 ringgit for seven hours. All of it is 3,500 for wages. The food and beverage has three time, which is breakfast, lunch, and tea time with a total 780 ringgit. And lastly, the boot. We have six boots with a price of 100 ringgit each boot. So the total for boot is 600 ringgit. After everything has been calculated, the total budget for this program is 5,192 ringgit. In evolution, we have two parts, which is before program survey and after program feedback. The before program survey will be given to the participants before the program started. In this form, they will be asked about a few questions and we use the Likert scale question which is the close-ended question. And for the feedback, we use open-ended and close-ended question. Their, fi their feedback will be used to improve our program that will be held in the future.